so we have understood the components of kubernetes now let's understand how we are going to create the cluster the whole setup now this part is very very important as we will be learning how the cluster is going to be set up now there are two approaches in creating a setup let's take the first one the first one is i can have this kind of a setup so we will be using vmware workstation or virtual box to create the virtual machines now one way is i can say uh, method one method number one method number one is the easy method i should say it easy method now in this case what we do so we will have three machines one machine will be acting as the manager i take it in a different color so one machine will be acting as the manager and other machines will be the workers couple of machines normally we take two machines that will be good enough for the practicals and i would highly suggest if you take worker 1 and worker 2 with different hardware configurations i will explain you why during the class now so the easy way is i'll create the operating system and in all the machines i attach two interfaces so one interface in all the machines let's say one interface will be connected to the nat network it is connected to the nat so we have this interface going into the nat and nat will then be further connected to the internet as nat can access the internet and these interfaces will be getting the ip from the dscp all these interfaces okay these interfaces which are are in the nat they will be getting ip from the dscp so i should write dh cp ips right this is what we do then every machine will have one more lan card this is going to be in the host only network going to be in host only network so one more lan card will be connected to this so every machine will have two lan cards and these lan cards which are in the host only they are going to have static ips so i will write here they will have static ips fix ip right static ips so normally i give manager as 10.0.0.100 worker 1 will have uh, say 10.0.0.1 and worker 2 will have 10.0.0.2 like this so this is one setup the it's a easy one you need not to configure anything the machines will be able to use the internet will be able to fetch the packages and images using the nat interface and the kubernetes communication will be happening on the blue network the host only network so the kubernetes communication whatever the communication will be doing on the kubernetes kubernetes will be using this network for its communication this one i should change it i or say this network kubernetes communication will be happening on this network right this one this one this is not the right way i should remove it no 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 so i should put it like this kubernetes communication will be happening on this network much better so this network will be used by the kubernetes for its internal communication and the green one will only be used when the machine intend to go to the internet that is the easy setup very easy to do you can do this way also 
no harm in setting up this kind of a cluster for the learning perspective from the learning perspective it's very easy but to be honest this is not how the things will be deployed in the production not every server will be allowed to go to the internet this is a uh, true right it's it's like kind of fact that not every machine can access the internet directly so the second method is we can have a proxy method so we the second method is this i'm going to remove this that's the easy method of configuring it let me save this one i, I write it kubernetes easy huh okay it has easy setup but honestly not relevant from a production perspective you don't get the things like this so let me create the difficult one i should say now the second way of creating the cluster is we will have a kind of a again close to the real life scenarios so method 2 is using a proxy or a router which is how the things will be actually deployed in the production so i should call it uh, close to production close to production setup huh this one so what we are going to do here we will have see it's a enterprise it's a data center so you your enterprise or the data center will already have the connectivity set up to access the internet or going outside the complete data center you the companies might have the proxy configured or routers or whatever but there must be something which can allow the internal servers to reach the internet so in our case i'm going to configure one machine as the proxy server so let's suppose this machine is going to be the proxy so we'll be configuring a squid here squid proxy now because it is a proxy it will be connected to the internet right so this will have connectivity to the internet so this machine will have two interfaces obviously a proxy will always have two two interfaces in my case at least normally also so one interface will be in the nat mode this one which will be connecting to the internet and the second interface will be in a host only mode so we again have a host only network so we have our internal network now now this is my enterprise network right i call it enterprise network so in my case we are going to configure this as host only when a network is host only it cannot go to the internet directly host only so one interface of the proxy will be connected to the host only network i will be giving this machine or this interface ip of 10.0.0.200 nat will be getting automatically ip from the dscp so i need not to worry about it so this machine will be configured as a proxy now inside my data center inside my data center you will have kubernetes cluster there so we will have a manager one machine acting as a manager here manager again the ip will be 10.0.0.100 we will have different workers worker 1 10.0.0.1 
and Vulkan 2. Again, slight, may make slightly different, different hardware configuration, bigger or smaller. Vulkan 2, 10.0.0.2. And these machines will have only one interface, one single LAN card, which is practically how the things will be. They will have only a single LAN card connected to the enterprise. And these LAN cards will be in the host only mode. This is the host only network. Blue one is the host only network. They will not have direct connectivity to the internet. So these manager worker one or and the, and the worker two, they have to use the proxy if they wanted to go out. So this is how the things will actually be. So these machines, whenever they wanted to do the internal, uh, the communication between them. So this is my cluster. My cluster is this much only. This is my cluster. My cluster is this. This is the cluster up till here. Squid is a part of the network. It is a part of the enterprise, but not a part of the cluster. It is merely an infrastructure server, which is providing me certain services. So this is my Kubernetes cluster. So this is what the, how the real setups will be done. Instead of proxy, the companies might use a production grade like enterprise firewall. Right. Them, they might use a like kind of a appliance to go to the internet. So this is how the things will be. Now we can easily do this. So we will also be learning what are the bare minimum uh, configuration you need to do to configure the proxy. We will be doing that. Now one thing apart from this need to be done is because these machines, manager, worker one and the, work, and the worker two, the machines in the cluster need to be aware of the proxy. Please understand that, that we have a proxy. So if we want communication between ourselves, we, then we don't need the proxy. But if I wanted to go to the internet to fetch images or packages, then I have to use the proxy. So my machines need to be aware of the proxy that we are using a proxy. We need to make the manager, worker one or the worker two cluster machines need to be aware of the proxy. Cluster machines need to be aware of proxy that we have a proxy in our enterprise. So certain pair, certain components need to be aware. Like I should components that should know that we are running a proxy, which components components uh, which need to be updated need to be updated to use proxy. Which are the components? Number one, operating system need to be aware that the OS need to know if I have to reach internet, I have to go to 10.0.0.200. And one more thing guys, by default, proxy runs on port number 3128. By default, that is a port number. So all my machines in the cluster, they need to know that if I have to reach internet, like the OS need to know, OS of manager, worker one and the worker two, they need to know that if I have to go to the internet, I have to hit 10.0.0.100 colon 3128. Likewise, if I use the package manager like APT in my case, package manager need to know that for downloading the packages, I need to hit 10.0.0.200 colon 3128. Likewise, if you are using wget tools or something, they also need to be aware of the proxy that for using the wget, I should hit the wget need to know, oh, I'm going to the internet. So I should first send the request to 10.0.0.200. Also, your container engine, if you are using Docker, Docker need to be aware that we are using a proxy. If you are, if you are using a cryo, cryo also need to be aware that we are using a proxy. So these components need to be aware that we are using a proxy. So we have to do additional configuration for configuring all these things for proxy settings on my cluster which was not needed 
in case of the first method first method was easy now this all need to be configured this is additional task but then security never comes with convenience so we have to do this this is the second method slightly difficult method but close to the production this is how the real life setups will be so this is how we are going to proceed so if you are okay with this we can move to the next topic